Okay, so today we're going to be studying coupled differential equations and their phase portraits. So in order to start with, let's give a context to what's going on here. So suppose we have a population of orcas that are feeding on a population of seals. Clearly orcas and seals interact with each other and so changes in their population affect both, both species. Right? If there's lots of seals, then there's going to end up being lots of orcas and if as they get more orcas, they eat more seals, which means less seals, which means less orcas. They, they interchange back and forth. It's the classic predator-prey thing. So but therefore, we have two differential equations, how the orcas are changing and how the seals are changing. And they end up being some kind of a scenario like this, where the orcas and seals are related based upon each other. Okay, um, And I just made these equations up, but this is what they could look like. And this kind of... Uh, differential, a coupled differential equation is actually a linear differential equation where it's like all linear terms and just x and y so it's like in the form ax plus by both x and y and so these are linear coupled equations that's what coupled equations are and so they're based upon each other and so differential equations that need to be solved simultaneous that's what these are are said to be coupled. And in order to solve these, we need to decouple them, to decouple them. So that x is just in terms of t, and y is just in terms of t. And so we're going to do some good math to do that. So some of the notation is I know that I'm told the derivative of x with respect to t is some function in terms of x and t, or x and y, as is dy dt is some function in terms of uh, x and y. It's a different function than the first one. There's another notation that we use to do the same thing. And what you might see at times is you might see x dot and y dot as a short form for writing this out here. Um, I haven't figured out yet how to do it on my uh, computer, this dot, but you'll see it in textbooks and stuff. So, think about this for a moment. If dx dt equals dy dt equals zero, what does this mean? So that means the rate of change of seals at any given time is equal to the rate of change of the orcas, and that's equal to zero. So the change, the the rate of change of these two species is not changing. So if these rates are not changing, if the seals and the orcas rates are not changing, that means they're constant. And what this is called? This is called an equilibrium point. Okay, it's called an equilibrium point. And so if I think about what would a solution look like? Well, ideally when I get this, I want to get x as some function of t and y of some function of t because then I can figure out each I'm, I've decoupled them from their x and y and it's just in terms of t and I have parametric equations but in order to come up with if I'm there's a derivative involved here right so you're integrating it you're going to get a plus c you're going to need some kind of initial point to start you off it's Initial point is often when t equals 0, you get some x0, y0, or maybe you're told when t equals 2, you get a certain value as well. But you need some kind of equation or point that starts you off. And conveniently, there's a derivation that happens, that, and this is in your formula booklet, that the exact solution of a coupled linear differential equation is this. Now, this is quite complicated, but this but we'll get it, this is actually xy is equal to a e lambda 1, so this is eigenvalue t times eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue plus e lambda 2 second eigenvalue and the second eigenvector. And so solutions to decouple these equations deal with eigenvectors and eigenvalues and we're going to take you through this. But there is your introduction to what in the world coupled differential equations means.